Hey guys, it's Eugene here. So we're in Bangkok, Thailand to witness the launch of the new, sorry, the global launch of the new Triton. So we experienced the launch just now. We saw what the car is about. We got close up and personal with the car. We went through a product briefing on what the car is like, what are the new stuff. Off the back of my head, I can tell you, performance is still the same, but it's got a new six-speed automatic transmission in replacement of uh, the five-speed unit. This is how the car looks like. So as you can tell, the car looks completely different. This is the new global design language for all the new Mitsubishi. So expect all the new cars to look very similar to that. So let's take a closer look at the car. The headlamps apparently in itself has been moved a lot higher up as you can tell. The fog lights are just here. Usually they're somewhere here maybe. So these are supposedly raised like something like 600 millimeters or 700 millimeters. According to Mitsubishi, apparently this is to avoid the headlamps from malfunctioning if you were to ever drive through a flood. Wheel options, they've got a few and they look really good. Sizes, they range from 16 to about 18 inches with the widest tyres being 265 in width. Moving on to the side, you can see how different the body looks like now. It's got like flat wheel arches, really cool, really aggressive, looks really robust which is perfect for what the new Triton represents now. The back, you've got newly redesigned headlamps which looks absolutely mesmerizing when lit up. So sorry, there's a lot of people around here. There's a lot of foreign journalists. Mitsubishi's got like 500 people. 500 media representatives from all over the world. Apparently three, 400 from Thailand alone. So let's see what the car is like inside. So over here, it's largely recognizable. It's still very much a Triton. Although in this car, as you can see differently from the launch article, this one actually comes with the leather seats as opposed to, I think, a sort of suede-like fabric material as the one you see in the launch article. As I've said, a new six-speed automatic transmission. Other improvements to the car, mainly damping. It's got a pair of new rear absorbers which are larger in diameter, supposedly better for damping and the brakes as well they've been upgraded while you still get the drums at the back in front the brake disc and the calipers have been upgraded they're now bigger both of them so now we're going to go check out what these cars are like to drive Mitsubishi has already arranged three courses for us two of which will be driven by myself with some guidance from the marshals and whatnot, and then the last drive will be driven by Mitsubishi Motor Corporation's test driver. Right, so I'm now in the new Triton. We're gonna go try out the car in the off-road course prepared by Mitsubishi. Okay, so a few details on the car. Power output is still the same with 180 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque from a two liter turbocharged diesel engine. Okay, so while it's got the same power transmission wise, it's got a new six speed automatic gearbox in replacement of the five speed automatic. It's supposed to offer you better acceleration, smoother, more linear, and honestly, first impressions, it kind of shows. Oh, now I really feel the proper acceleration. Okay, the hairpin turn coming up. Oh, the car is so obedient though, to the steering input. Oh, the ride is a lot more supple than the ones I remember taking. So we got to spend a lot of time in the uh, athlete model throughout our COM drive around Malaysia and that was already quite impressive in terms of comfort but honestly this car with its upgraded dampers being bigger for better damping just based on first impressions I do feel it actually like uh, it's just a lot more supple it's a lot more forgiving 
As if the old one wasn't already. Right. And that's it. That was quite brief, but uh, I guess that's how it is. It's a global launch, so they've got like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of media representatives from literally all over the world to check out this car. So time is really of the essence and quite limited. So, so we're gonna go on the off-road course and see what it's like. Oh, first of all, hill climb. Okay. All oh, right, hill U turn. Okay. U turn. U turn. Let's go. Okay. Okay. For U turn drive. So everything is in four wheel drive. Yeah. All the necessary yeah. settings are in place. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh man, that looks so scary. Okay. Big drop. Right. Yes. So we're going to try out all the car's uh, driver aids. This would be the uh, hill descent control yes. and hill start assist. Okay. Let's go. Right. So gently on the power. How high is this slope? 5 meters? Maybe 5 meters. Oh my god, all I see is the sky! <laughs> Gently feeding did, in the did power it to, the left. to the left a yes. little. Okay. Did and when stop? do I stop? Stop here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Alright. Hard on the brakes. Yes. So I just lift off the brakes and let the yes. car roll. Okay. And let the system yes. take. Yes. Take over. Okay. No need operation. No need to lift off the brakes. Yes. This is quite yes. scary. Are you sure? Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh okay. god! Okay. No need. No, no. No need operation. Still legs off the brakes. <laughs> yes. This is not something you will do every day, man. It's very hard to convince yourself to lift off the brakes when you're on a slope, but honestly, trust the car, as you can see. All right. Very safety. Now we're down, yes. yep. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're gonna... Next so Bunks. left wheels on the white strap. Bunks. Bunks okay. Yes. How fast do I go? Just uh, gently? Hungry is, uh, oh, just funny. gently. Yeah. Gently, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So now same speed. Yes, same speed. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Yep. Let's do this. Cool. Okay. So now we have three banks. Yeah. First one on the right, so I'll tilt to the left. And then the second one on the left, the car will tilt to the right. So how? Okay. Oh, okay, slowly. Go straight, go straight. Straight? Yes, straight. Okay. Okay, be good. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was fun. <laughs> right. Next, suspension stroke and traction control checkpoint. Right, so this is where we will get to try the new absorbers, larger diameters, better damping apparently. Okay. okay. Very slowly. Very slowly. Very slowly. So just gently throttle. Yes. Okay. Very yeah, slowly. Yeah, okay. Okay. Traction control. Ah, traction okay. 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 You can feel the yes. the, the, the wheels the trying control. to find yes. traction. Yes. Okay. Uh. Okay. Oh. Very good traction. Very good traction. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very very secure. Very yeah. safe. <laughs> Feels safe. Okay. So we're done. Finish. Yes. Okay. That's okay. All. okay. Right. Thank you very much. Can I go one more time? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So we've just done an off-road course where a uh, Mitsubishi Moto Corporation's uh, test driver was leading me and guiding me through the course. Now we're gonna let the professional do the real thing. He's gonna be behind the wheel. I'm gonna be riding shotgun, and he's gonna show me what the Triton is actually capable of, unlike what it was like when I was behind the wheel. All right, so we're with the Mitsubishi uh, Motor Corporation's test driver again. So while we got to drive the car earlier, now he is going to show me what the car is really capable of. Always best to leave it to the professionals. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay, okay. we can go. Oh, this, this, this one, two laps. Okay. All right. Oh, this guy. <laughs> 
what in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> And this guy is like laughing there. <laughs> Can you see his face? <laughs> it's unreal. Jumping point. Okay, hang on, everybody. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh my. Man, I would never recommend you guys to drive your Tritons like that. One more round, one more round. <laughs> Look at this guy's face, man. He's like having the time of his life scaring us. Oh, man. Look at how busy he is with the steering. Oh, man. One more jump. Yeah, one more jump. One more jump. Oh! <laughs> Holy hell! Such good car control! <laughs> Finish! Finish! That's all! So that was it. I'm sorry if the video was a bit shaky, but this guy is just absolutely mad, I tell you. Very good? Very good! Thank you! You are illegal driver, you! <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, it's good, it's good. All right. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. So we've just completed all the drives and all the being driven experience from the rally driver earlier. Man, that guy was absolutely insane. But you know what's more insane? Having the assurance when you're going that fast off the road. Like I've never been driven so quickly before on loose surfaces. That was one hell of an experience. So as you can see, that was how high we were earlier. It does look very very scary like all i saw was literally the sky and once we were stationary going down the slope we were told to just lift off the brakes to try the hill descent control man i tell you being that high with that kind of gradient is really hard to cycle yourself to just lift off the brakes and trust the car it is an experience that you should try but i don't think you'll ever get the opportunity to sadly Aside from that course, we were also told to drive through different courses with different inclinations to try out the car's traction control abilities and active stability control and all sorts of driver's assistance systems and I must say, from where I was, behind the wheel, all was well. The car did not react unexpectedly and it was just a really smooth vehicle to be driving in. I can't wait for you guys to try it out on your own. See you soon. Thanks for watching.